What's going on, everyone? Welcome back. I've got a very cool Kubi. Now, Kubi is generally your totally affordable budget brand um, made overseas. And I was turned on to Kubi initially from a good buddy of mine, John, who sent me this one from Amazon, said, hey, I got this knife that you should check out. I said, hey, let me, I'll look into it and I'll grab one. He goes, don't worry about it. There's one on, on its way to you. And this one was like a $30 D2 Tonto, all blacked out. Absolutely fantastic. I, I kind of fell in love with this knife and really kind of looked into the brand more after that. And then my buddy Dave sent me a whole bunch to review. Um, I've given some away. I've got still two or three more here that were gifted to me. Um, it's something I recommend to people. It's something that I uh, buy for people. Uh, in fact, I need to buy one here soon to send it to uh, somebody. So, I mean, I really got into the Kubi brand. Now, they make, they're very, very similar to Tucson in a way where they use numbers. Um, you know, like this one here was the KB237. This one is the Atlas. I, I think there's a number to it also. Let me look on the package here while I'm rambling. Um, this one just is called the Atlas. So I don't know if there is a number really associated with it. But the point is that they have such a huge variety of different knives that you could almost... Well, you could, absolutely, collect only Kubi and have every type of knife that you want. From the $25 ones to the ones that are in the 200 range, this is $199, was on sale for $169 and are currently sold out. But comes with a nice, you know, zipper padded pouch, comes in a, you know, box, has a um, microfiber with it and all that good stuff. Very cool for, I think, 169 bucks when these originally launched. <clears throat> this was loaned in from my buddy Gary, who likes to buy the brand new knives and ship them to me. I can review them, and then I ship them off to him. So let's dive into the specs now that we've kind of rambled a little bit. It's four and seven eighths closed. Eight and three quarters overall with that massive blade. 3.72 inch blade, 3.4 inch cutting edge, S35VN, that's right, S35, 0.156 thick, 0.548 overall thickness, minus the clip, and runs on ceramic bearings. Super smooth. Controlled, but super smooth. And it weighs in at four, uh, sorry, 5.7 ounces. So it is on the heavier side, but let's zoom in. You've got a full titanium scales, backspacer, pocket clip. I believe the hardware is also titanium, which in and of itself is shocking right there. I remember back in the day when Medford had a $200 titanium upgrade just for the hardware. Here, it's $200 and it's all titanium. And I love this blade shape. It just has grown on me while I've had this knife here. Has a lot of milling. Got that see-through pattern going. Did the pocket clip very well. Hidden hardware of the clip. Just very nicely done and works really well. A little bit of branding there. Jelly Jerry design. I mean, it's, it's really a nice knife. Anodizing is done really well. The Kubi branding is just there on the pivot. Makes it look really nice. Jimping is great. Feels fantastic fantastic in the hand it really does you can choke up again it's not re i mean it is a finger choil but it is sharp there towards the the heel of the blade so you want to watch out for that but you could absolutely do cutting with this all in all this thing is 
kind of a hot ticket. <clears throat> when I did the unboxing, there was a lot of, there were, well, I don't know about a lot, there were several people that reached out to say they had tried to get one and they were all sold out um, and whatnot. So this is a loner. I think Gary's going to really love this based on the other stuff that Gary has had come through and that I know Gary collects. Has a lanyard uh, hole. I'm not a lanyard guy. We talked about that before. But they do it nicely. I think that's a well, a very well placed spot and you know whatnot to do a lanyard hole if you're going to the jimping on the flipper tab is kind of it, it i don't know that you need the, the jimping here on this backside because you're not really engaging that part when you're flipping it you're engaging the top for sure but you're never really engaging that bottom part so that's unnecessary jimping but it doesn't hurt anything either, right? So I'm good with it. Overall, I'm good with this whole knife. It's right up my alley as far as things go. So let's do a couple of size comparisons. And we won't start out, we won't do the kind of the normal way. This knife, when I first opened it, kind of reminded me of the Midgard's Messer style and flavor of knives. Not exactly this particular one, the Bombier, but... It just kind of reminded me of Midgard's and the way they do a lot of their knives. So I figured I would just size compare with this one to start with. And then since I have it right here on the table because I'm going to do the video on this one, maybe film next, the CKF Evo number one. Okay, and we're just going to mix it up here a little bit. Benchmade, 940. Because this is more of a fuller size knife, how about the Hinder XM24? Just a hair, this is just a hair shorter overall than the XM24. All right, now we will do the Sharpie and the Delica, just to keep it, you know, real. And since we did pull out the Kubi KB237 earlier, we'll just stack that up there also, just so you can get a look. So let me know what you guys think about Kubi in general. We're not gonna go into the whole US made versus China made and all of that drama and political BS because I just won't have that. I, I don't care. I've made it very clear that a lot of the stuff you're getting overseas and outside of the U.S. rivals, yes, rivals the American-made stuff a lot of the time. I'm not going to say in general. I'm not going to say all the time, but a lot of the time, you are getting a far superior product made in other countries. So let's not get into that debate at this point. All right. So thanks for watching. Thanks, Gary, for sending this in. It was a pleasure to check out. I think this is the last knife I have of Gary. So I will double check with him before I ship because inevitably I will ship and he'll be like, oh, hey, this other one's coming tomorrow. Or I ship and I get something from him later that same day. So I always like to check with Gary because he's full of surprises. Thank you everyone for watching. Have yourselves an absolutely fantastic day. I greatly appreciate your time. We'll see you tomorrow.